Hi everybody, I'm Cory and welcome to this new painting tutorial. Today I'll show you how to paint a tannic first and only guardsman using the miniature that I have previously converted in my other video. In this tutorial I'll use the Citadel range of paint to do so. So after I've primed the miniature with my Chaos Black Primer, I have started painting the skin with two thin coats of Cadian Flesh Tone. After that, I use my Caliban Green to paint the armor, but you can uh, use it also to paint the pockets of the fatigues. The next step is using the Dryad Bark to paint the belt and all of the leather part of the model. For the metal parts of the model, I've used Lead Belcher. With this color, I've painted the entirety of the rifle, the belt buckle, the binoculars and the button of the trousers. After that, I have used some Mephisto Red to paint the knife sheets. And now, the most important characteristic of our Tannic Garsman, the Camo Clock. Start with the base coat of Loring Forest. Then for the camouflage pattern, I've used Caliban Green, Gorthor Brown, Zandri Dust and Abaddon Black. With this four color, I have painted some random line in the entirety of the cloak. Don't worry to be too precise, just follow a very random pattern, trying to cover as much cloak as you can. And in the end, use some Abaddon Black to paint some dots and short lines following the previously painted lines. Now we start to wash our model standing with the skin using Reichland Flesh Shade. Then the metal part with some Draken of Nightshade. And then a final wash will be Agrax Earthshade. This is going to be applied on the rest of the model. Now we are going to layer in our model, repainting all of the previously base coated parts except for the cloak. While doing this, try not to paint the dark recesses on the model. Use some lead belcher to dry brush all over the metal part to make them look more real. Now the model is almost finished, but if you want, you can go a little bit further with some agile lighting. With this technique, we are going to paint the sharpest part of the model, giving the impression of light hitting it from above. For the skin, I've used some Kislev flesh. For the green parts, I've used some struck and green. For the fatigues, I've used Dark Reaper.
and for the red parts, Evil Sun Scarlet. And here we have our tiny first and only Garsman completely finished. As a final touch, I have based the model and sprayed it with some matte varnish to protect the paint job. I hope this video was useful to you, and if you like it, please leave a like, subscribe, and share. Thank again, I'm Cory, and see you in the next video. Fight